Michelle Violet here, second generation homeschooling mom of three. I have an eight year old, a five year old, and an infant. Today I wanted to share with you my homeschooling budget for this school year that we just wrapped up and what we actually spent on curriculum this year. So let's get into it. So this is my daughter's second grade year and my son's preschool year. And I organized the curriculum by who I purchased it for and then subject. So I've got all my daughter's things in this column and then all my son's things in this column. I only put things in this spreadsheet if I purchased them this year. So my son's preschool curriculum I already had for my daughter and I don't put it in here. I know some people like to list everything that they're using and then just put zeros or like nothing if they already own it, but I use a separate spreadsheet for planning. This is just for budgeting purposes and just for homeschooling expenses. I don't put my kids extracurricular activities in here with the exception of co-op because that's like a homeschooling specific thing. And I also put my daughter's Chinese school in this spreadsheet. I went back and forth on including that and that's part of why her total is so high because it has that in-person Chinese school in there but it is one of those subjects that I report to the state that I'm teaching her and so I eventually decided to just add it to the spreadsheet too. But it does inflate her <laughs> number a bit. I'll delete it when we get to the bottom and then you can see how much we spent just on curriculum. But total this year on homeschooling things, we spent $1,655 for my two kids. So for my son for ELA, I already had all of his stuff. I didn't have to buy anything. For my daughter, I always try to buy things used or on sale when we can. So all about spelling, I was able to buy both of them used. I bought the complete set for her with the teacher manual. This is all the black and white version. So it was just the teacher manual, the cards, and the letter tiles. And then these things I had to buy new, obviously. This paper is Zaner Blozer Makes paper that goes with the handwriting program that's the lines are this set up the same way as they're in the handwriting book and so I think it makes it a little bit easier for my kids to keep their handwriting neat when they're doing their regular school projects if the paper matches what they're doing in their handwriting curriculum and it's a huge ream of paper so my daughter has never even come close to making a dent in any of the reams so I'm still going to have it for all the rest of my kids probably. Singapore math you I always buy it new because then I get the digital access code we use those extension problems that are part of the digital access code and if you buy the teacher's manual used as far as I know there's no way to then purchase the digital access codes so I always just buy those um, new. Um, this I bought used this is a digital project so I bought it new but on sale the tree book we loved I bought that used this Burgess bird book we didn't end up using this year we ran out of time and I'm, then I was talking to my daughter about it and she said that she wants me to read that in the morning in our morning basket someday but this next year she actually wants to learn about the sea and sea creatures so I'm gonna look for some sort of science book about the ocean first and, and then maybe we'll come back to the Burgess bird book I'm I don't know if my kids are gonna like Burgess's style but I'm excited to do bird stuff because I really like birds Exploring Nature with Children, I got for my son. It's not entirely secular. I talked about that in his video, um, but I bought that on sale. This Building Foundations of Scientific Understanding 2, I was not expecting to buy this year, but we finished up BFSU 1 really early. So I was lucky enough to find the second volume used. I feel like I don't see the second volume as often. Like a lot of people sell the first volume used, and I don't see the second volume as often. And I just happened to find one on eBay when we needed it. So that was really, really cool. Um, microscope and slides we need for building foundations, the second volume. And I actually bought these, I bought a microscope from Amscope and I bought it through their eBay store because their eBay store has an open box section. Their website has an open box section listed, but there's nothing in it. But if you go to their eBay store, their official eBay store, they have all these open box microscopes and there was some additional sale when I bought it too. I, I don't know if it was like for a holiday. I don't remember what it was. So the microscope that I bought was an open box one and it comes, they inspect it before they send it out to you and clean it and everything. And it comes with their standard warranty. Uh, so the one that I got looked new. Like I couldn't even tell that it was an open box microscope, but it was originally a little over a hundred dollars, but with all those discounts, it was $69 for the microscope. And then the rest of this $90 is I bought blank glass slides. And then I also bought prepared like plastic slides so that my kids, when we're done with whatever BFSU wants us to, to do for the microscope. My kids have a bunch of slides that they can look at. I always thought that was cool when I was a kid, so I wanted to make sure that I had those for my kids too. History Quest, I bought part of it used. I bought the activity guide and the student reader used, and then I bought the audiobook on sale. I don't usually like to buy 
the history quest teacher gets guides in paperback because there's like student pages you have to print out and stuff and it was really annoying to have to photocopy them all so i'm i yeah i prefer the pdf for that but it was a lot cheaper to buy it used lit house i bought on sale and i bought it before she revised it it has a lot more activities in it now so it costs a little bit more which is totally fair but that's just why if you go to look at it it won't cost this this same amount this we're using this summer artistic pursuits i bought both of these used Art supplies, I bought new, obviously, but I didn't have to buy all the art supplies that are listed in Artistic Pursuits because they, in each book, they list every single thing you're going to need for that book. They assume when they're putting together that list that you don't have any of your supplies left over from the previous levels, which we do. We have a, a bunch of things. Like, we haven't used up the watercolor paper I think I bought for the very first book. I don't think we've used up any of the paper I bought from the very first book. So I didn't have to buy everything listed, so that was nice. Flip Flop Spanish is for both of my kids, but I put it in my daughter's column just because she's the one who originally asked me to do it. Although actually my son this year used it more than she did. She she kind of tagged along on all of our lessons, but he's really the one who kept asking to do it and was really excited and motivated to do all of it. And then down here we have my daughter's in-person Chinese school and then our co-op fees. So I'm going to remove these so you can see. On just curriculum, we spent $689 for my two kids, and I had budgeted $700 this year for this like curriculum expenses. I have the Chinese school and co-op on here, but in our household budget, they're a different line than homeschool curriculum. I have all the kids' activities in a, just in a different spot, So, but I kept them on here just so I could see what it looks like all together. So yeah, I was happy that I stayed under budget even with having to buy a few things that I didn't originally anticipate. These little spot books I didn't, I wasn't going to buy originally either. I was just going to check them out from the library for my son, but then the library, I don't know, I guess people lost copies of them or something. They didn't have all the ones that he wanted to check out, so I had to buy, I didn't have to, but I, I bought the set for him because he really loves them. So yeah, that's how I set up my spreadsheet to keep track of all of our homeschooling expenses. I hope you found this helpful. And thank you for watching.